Welcome back to us at Camps and today we had the opportunity to be in a beautiful farm in North Carolina. Yes, you see that I got the plaid shirt, my cowboy jeans and sneakers to go with it and that beautiful machine right there. Back here we see Joe from the Flying Lab, my buddy from YouTube. Follow him on his page on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Look at that machine, man. <laughs> Doesn't look great. It's like made for the off-road. This is a super truck. This is not a car. I know I made a couple of mistakes in the last video talking about it. I said this car, this car, this car, but now we have the second opportunity to have a super truck in our hands for a while. We're gonna use this in this beautiful facilities right here in the woods where it belongs, right? So stay tuned. We'll be uh, doing the walk around on the car and we're gonna get to uh, feel the car on the road, off road, in this beautiful land. All right, this is us. I'll see you in a second. We have a raptor for a day for us, man. <laughs> in a beautiful farm in North Carolina. Here's Joe. This is Ozzy Camps. Flying Lab right there. I've been mentioning him multiple times on YouTube. And this is the finally we happen to come to a collaboration with this beautiful vehicle, man. This it's, truck is nuts, man. I really like it's the type of truck you look at it immediately you want it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You don't even need to drive it. Like I just laid eyes on it, was like, yeah, I'll take one. Let's get the heck out of here. Alright, let's bounce, man. Yep. It's got a backup camera. What are you doing? Shoot me, shoot me, let's see. 2017, we're back in here. Oh, it's and got the, a surround cam too, so. Yeah, the 360 degrees camera is helping me. Like, you can literally see the whole road and the truck Yeah, position. that's pretty cool, man. A lot of safety features in the 17 Raptor. It's got blindside assist, collision warning, all kinds of stuff the last generation one didn't have. Awesome. Adaptive cruise control. Literally, I'm not even looking back and trusting the cameras right now. This is amazing! <laughs> All right, no cars coming. You guys see that? And the camera, I, I even pay attention to looking back over my shoulder or nothing. All right, so. All right, go left. We're gonna follow some trails here in the, on the farm. Oh, man, this is crazy. What do you think so far, man? The ride is pretty soft, actually, yeah. considering it's got 34 inch tall tires. I mean. It is, it is pretty uh, compliant. I love the. The softness of it, I, I have heard and I read about it that you change the different modes and while you're changing the modes, the, the dampers are gonna switch and change. Yeah. So basically, right now I'm on the off-road mode. Are you in off-road mode right now? I think oh, so, yeah. You yeah. Are. yeah so, it's got six different modes. It's got a Baja mode, which is kind of the crazy thing with this truck, just like the Ford Focus RS has the drift mode. Mm -hmm. Baja mode is crazy. I don't know how many people buying these are gonna be jumping them off dunes. <laughs> Probably no one. Maybe Not a couple many. people at Pismo Beach, but still crazy, man. Yeah, you don't buy this kind of truck and like risk it that way. But <laughs> if you Some have people are gonna do it, bro. Yeah, if you have the the disposable money to do this, you know, <laughs> you just do that. You got it? What? Work. Blowing They're calling me up. you? Yeah. That's why we need to be YouTubers, guys. <laughs> That's what we're trying to make it as YouTubers. So please like, subscribe, and share <laughs> our videos <laughs> all the time. We need you guys, we need your support. And I'm telling you, <laughs> we're gonna bring more footage, better cars. Well, cars like this one, not better. Like, cars like this one all the time. All right, look, dude. A little slower than I thought, no? Oh, nah. I just don't know what's, uh, what's the, I put it in manual. Damn nuggets, that's it. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there's no better place to have this truck. Like, this is the truck out of, we're in the middle of nowhere, first mm -hmm. of all. So if you're gonna give me a vehicle for the middle of nowhere, like, I want one. a Raptor or like a Land Cruiser or something, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's only a couple of vehicles I would take out here, man. Yeah, this these roads are the real back roads that where you wanna take this car and like, just, Slam the gas down the floor, floor it, and go for it because it responds. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Check this out. Gonna let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, and let's go. Yo! <laughs> we need Shit. to be careful because this, this thing has quick, torque. Man. It's quick, yeah. So it's 450 horsepower, yes, 510 foot pounds of torque. It's up 40 horsepower from the last generation Raptor. <laughs> and 75 foot-pounds of torque. So even though you're missing the 6.2 liter and you mm -hmm. get the 3.5 liter, 
this thing isn't weak and it makes power at lower rpm so it's much more usable around town man That's a lot of technology involved in this one and instead of that like gnarly muscle car v8 sound you get a lot of turbo boost noises and whooshes you know what I mean? So yep. it's just like high tech redneck type of stuff, you know? <laughs> That's what we like, redneck type of stuff. <laughs> and this super truck right here is amazing. Let me tell you something. One thing that Joe forgot to mention right here is my favorite thing on cars. And coming from a Miata perspective, he owns a Miata too. Lightweight <laughs> is the only thing that you need in a car to make it faster. And Ford reduced 500 pounds from the previous generation on this one right now and that's what makes the difference at least yeah. to me i think i'm reading different things a bit a little bit less than 400 pounds yeah. new f-150 they changed the body style to all aluminum yeah uh, so this one's just shy of 5700 pounds the last truck was about 6100 pounds and that's increased the efficiency actually you can get about 18 mpg in this truck um and it does have a new 10 speed transmission that was co-developed with general motors actually um and that helps the efficiency a lot too it shifts really crisp uh, you know, not as good as maybe like a ZF box, but certainly really nice. I really dig it. Yeah, and, and it's a really good thing to have a 10 speed transmission. Nowadays with the uh, EPA rates, the, the government wants every vehicle to become like more efficient on the road. This one must be efficient, but when you buy this kind of car, MPG is not the right number to look at. <laughs> Miles per gallon, that's what you get this. Just like a Miata, but in a few, in a super truck. How you get that from that? Yeah. So this one has the carbon fiber accents or accessories around the truck. I like the stitching all over the dash. The seating position is really comfortable. Yeah, I it has the steering wheel a lot, man. That steering wheel is awesome. Look, guys, it's check like this almost out. Almost like a European what? steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> it has the GT3. Um, yeah, right. Lifted right off the GT3. <laughs> yeah, that's how you get it. That's how you get it. Like you don't, you don't get to see this quite often, and that's why I'm so excited. Like cars nowadays are like. You see one car and you get to see them all. This car is completely out of his, on his own league. Yeah, so. I like this interior, man. I like the way it looks. It's got the big fender flares, mm -hmm. about seven inches wider than the standard F-150. Um, I love the BF Goodrich KO2s. It's one of the best all-terrain tires you can buy. I mean, this thing's ready to rock, man. It's mm -hmm. got uh, small bumpers, too, for approach, uh, approach and departure angles. So, like, when you're four-wheeling, man, you don't hit rocks and stuff, which is really awesome. That's amazing. This one has the four performance accessories are all over the truck so but now in the road man what can i say yeah what i can love I say? the panel roof in this car i don't see too Super many pickups actually with the panel roof it's yeah. the first time that any Ford's had it yeah um, pretty sure comfort's right there man yeah and listen this thing doesn't have any competition like what is chevy making that's anything like the raptor nope, nothing nothing right silverados are out there getting to get there yeah but they don't have like a real off-road truck man like, not yet and then you have dodge the power wagon power wagon is uh in a whole different nice category truck, yeah but it's not jumping sand it's not jumping off stuff nope. like it's good for towing and stuff mm -hmm. And then you have Toyota, they got the TRD Pro, the Tacoma. That's got some Fox stuff on it. Yeah. And it's really cool, but it's still not in this car's league, man. This thing literally, I think, doesn't have any competition, man. Mm -mm. It's on his own league. They developed this niche market and they have lead on this since introduction. Like this car is on its own league. Believe me, trust me. A lot of people who drive Mercedes-Benz, BMWs, or high-end vehicles, they are gonna trade cars in for this truck Raptor. believe me hey listen it's not even that much money like okay so this one we're driving is 70 grand right mm -hmm. 69 and change fully loaded but base price is 49k man and you still get the engine you still get the 450 horse you get the box racing mm -hmm. stuff you get all that stuff for 49k man it's not really that bad like it didn't blow me away the mm -hmm. base price no it's accessible guys when we talk about trucks we can get like a four lariat four f-150 lariat or fx4 for around the same price that you can get the raptor and this one man you, yeah, there's right? nothing that doesn't leave anything to desire like you're getting the best bang for the buck like if you get off a mercedes-benz uh, suv and you get into this car the quality materials are on par like yes i know that ford used to be like a little bit economical in their accessories and interior and stuff but nowadays ford has stepped into the game and they have put 
good quality materials, good designs on the dash, good design on the uh, infotainment system, the sync infotainment system, which is really smart. Things happen when we're taping cars, man. You guys cannot imagine <laughs> the amount of things that we have to go through every single time we tape a car, man. Oh, shit. We're grinding, we're always grinding, <laughs> and it's the, the, the beauty of it, you know? We have to tape, we have to review the tape, Man, I have lost audio in my video so many times or something goes wrong with the camera. Like, man, we're just learning and we appreciate that from you guys because you guys are patient with us. You guys are patient with us and you are you guys are always like, you know, giving us the ideas, giving us like your suggestions and I appreciate that all the time, man. Like, I remember my last video, I had like 65 comments saying like, it's a truck, it's a truck, stop Who calling it a cares, car. Who man? I mean, it's a passenger vehicle. Who yeah. cares? To me, to me, I'm ESL, man. I, I handle two <laughs> different languages. I do Spanish yeah, no. and English on the go, on the go. So it's difficult for me to do that. Well, but I haven't heard that word since sure. I was in elementary school. Yeah, I'm on the go. <laughs> One day, when you're like coming into a dealership and you're looking or thinking about a pickup truck or a super truck, think about this one. Because this is a first option that you should look on the $50,000 category and you can get this one with the super cab and $48,000 with the destination fees and etc. can go up to a little bit higher. But it's comfortable. It's a car that you can use on your day in, day out. It's yep. a car that you can use for your sporty drive. It's a car that you can do like so many things, so utilitarian that you cannot go wrong with it. So this is utilitarian. That was a big word for yeah. you. So yeah, <laughs> man, I'm I'm on the spot, man. All right. So this is outside camps. This is Joe from Flying Lap. So like, share, and subscribe in our channels. This guy right here, he's amazing. Check on the numbers because his video has all the specs. All right. See you guys. See you guys. I'll out. see you later in another beautiful day in North Carolina.